Hello and welcome to this event um, in partnership with Babesh Boyo University. Um, so the topic of today's event is going to be, of course, the entire academic offer at uh, BBU and more information uh, on how you could uh, study your preferred program in English, Romanian, French, or even German um, at this amazing un university. As you may know, it's uh, the top university in Romania, and uh, it has amazing opportunity for extra EU students. So the focus of the event today, once again, for those of you who are just joining, welcome. Uh, we are now live with this webinar in partnership with Babesh Boyo University. Um, today's focus will be giving you a glimpse into what student life looks like uh, at this amazing university and of course to give you more context into the study opportunities and the scholarship programs offered to extra EU students. Um, while we are waiting for everyone to connect, I would like to invite you to write in the chat where you are joining us from and of course if you have already a program of preference, perhaps a bachelor, perhaps you are a master's student or even a PhD student, looking to expand your horizons in Europe and Romania. So feel free to pop that in the chat and uh, we'll be happy to get to know you. In the meantime, uh, I'm seeing Stephanie from Brazil. Thank you so much for joining. It's great to have you here and we hope that this event will be useful uh, into giving you more context uh, to uh, make the wisest choice for your, your studies. Uh, hello, Bobby from Nigeria. Uh, you are going for a master's program, so that's great. And uh, hi uh, also to uh, Paranit, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, from India. So I'm sure that uh, we have people joining from all over the world. And while we are waiting for uh, all the participants to join us, uh, of course, if you have any questions uh, about the student life, about the uh, scholarships available to extra EU students, please feel free to pop your questions into the Q&A box and we'll be happy to get to them after the, uh, the presentation. So we do have some speakers on behalf of BBU. Today with us, we have Carmen. Uh, she's the head of office for uh, mobilities and international students at BBU. Carmen, thank you so much for joining us and for uh, giving us uh, the time today to, uh, to speak up to this uh, event. Hello everyone. Uh, I apologize for not being able to turn off on my camera today. It seems that the internet connection is not so stable in my office, so I do apologize for this. It is nice to have you here. We are honored by your presence and by your interest towards Babetway University. We hope that the details that you received this afternoon uh, will be helpful for you in order to take a decision and maybe apply for a program at Babesh Boy University in Cluj Napoca, Romania. Thank, Thank you, Lavinia. You so much. Thank you so much, Carmen. And uh, we have also Delia. She's the associate professor uh, in the Faculty of European Studies at BBU. Welcome, Delia. Mm -hmm. Hello, everyone. Thank you for the invitation. It's also a great pleasure to, to be here today to speak with you. And I'm happy to see that you are interested in to study at our university. I will focus on the uh, student teacher relations, so I'm really happy to talk about that. And uh, I hope you have the opportunity to, uh, to collaborate in the future as well. Thank you so much. Uh, and I do see that we already have some questions coming in, so please feel free to type away into the QA box. And as I mentioned, we'll be glad to take uh, all of them after the presentation. Uh, to go on with our introductions, uh, we have Daciana Pop, she's the uh, student uh, currently enrolled uh, in the Faculty of European Studies here on behalf of BBU. Thank you so much for joining us. Everyone, uh, it's lovely being here and thank you so much for inviting me. I'm uh, in, in my fourth year of studies at BBU, being a master's student at the Faculty of European Studies, and I can, I hope I can give you an inside view uh, for what it means to be a student at this university. Thank you again. Thank you for your presence. And last but not least, we have Mustafa. He's an international student at the Faculty of Environmental Science and Engineering. Mustafa, thank you so much for joining. Thank you and hi everybody. I would be so much uh, delighted to share my experience as a student and a special and international student and the, at Babish Boy University. And 
I would like also to answer your questions if I can, like from my own perspective as an international student. Thank you so much. And for those of you who just joined, uh, to give you a, a last introduction and context, uh, of course, today's event is focused on the academic offer at BBU. So you will get all the information about all the programs available at a bachelor's, master's and PhD level um, at BBU in Romania. So stay tuned for all the information concerning the scholarships, student life, the life testimonials from two enrolled students. And of course, last but not least, all the information you need to apply um, as an extra EU student. So uh, without further ado, we will start with the presentation. And uh, of course, um, I will start sharing my screen so that Carmen can start presenting. And bear with me while I share the presentation. And there we go. Carmen, the floor is yours. Thank you, Lavinia. Uh, I will try to pinpoint some of the most important details about Babeshwar University in Krishna Pokam. First of all, I would like to say that we are the biggest university in Romania and uh, the first in international rankings. The university was founded in 1581 uh, as a Jesuit college. Since then, uh, we evolve a lot. And today we reach, uh, we reach the status of uh, world top university, a research and teaching university with 22 faculties offering courses, specialization in um, uh, bachelor, master, PhD and post PhD programs. Uh, those programs are, um, okay, I will start with the location because this is on the presentation, I'm sorry. So, uh, Babeshwar University is located in Romania, in Cluj uh, a central city, one of the biggest cities in uh, Romania, located in Transylvania, in the north part of Romania, close to the border with Hungary. Can you, okay. Uh, you have we have marked on the on the map the location of the uh, capital city of Romania, Bucharest, with the red point, and Cluj Napoca on the other side of the country. Uh, you have some images that may uh, give you a clue about the university. In the left corner, we have the main building of the university erected in, at the beginning of the 20th century. Especially for the university, it looks uh, similar with the building of other European universities like Prague, Hungary, or Poland. And some insights from the labs. Uh, Cluj Napoca, uh, the home city of Babeshpoja University, is the second largest city in Romania after Bucharest and is located in the heart of Transylvania. The population is approximately 400,000 inhabitants plus 100,000 students international students and Romanian students. Of course, the majority of the students are Romanians, but 25% of the local population being so young, you can imagine the amount of events, uh, opportunities that arise for the students every day. Uh, due to the huge number of students, international students and the locals, we can say that Cluj is a very cosmopolitan city, a multicultural city, Lots of museum, parks, sport facilities, uh, and international events like TIF, Transylvania International Film Festival, which is taking part right now every year in uh, in June at the beginning of June. It's one of the uh, most successful events organized in Cluj, but we also have music festivals and other uh, international acclaim events. Uh, created especially for young people, let's say. Okay. And now we move forward to the Babeshpoja University. I was mentioned before that we are a um, traditional university, but at the same time, a modern university. A traditional one being founded in 5081, that means that we have a long history of academia, but also a very, dynamic new modern university, which is trying every year to add a new component. 
uh, we are a Kyustar University, the first university uh, in our field of study in Romania. And in the academic ranking of world universities, we are between 700 and 800 position, which is a very good position for a university. We are also proud because we are not only a teaching university, but also a research university. And uh, this position was consolidated once we were accepted in the guild the most prestigious European Research Intensive University Association. Uh, it is important to know that the degrees um, offered by Baba Royal University are recognized worldwide. And let's take a look about the international student because you may be interested to find out from which countries the students who are uh, learning at our university are coming from. Uh, the spots on the mark on the on the map marked in different colors are the countries from which the students are coming. I saw that we have someone uh, from Nigeria, but we also have uh, from um, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Afghanistan. Uh, we also have students from India, from South America, Brazil, because someone uh, just hey, stay high uh, a couple of minutes before uh, European students. Basically, uh, we have students from all continents, South America, North America, Africa, Asia, Europe, Middle East. Um, thank you. Uh, every year, the core of students is growing. Uh, this year, we have approximately 2,000 international students. You have to keep in mind that the body of students in our university is approximately 45,000 students, from which 2,000 are full-time students enjoy the university studying in one of our master, PhD, or bachelor programs. Uh, you have some numbers concerning the number of students uh, for different levels. I have to say that our undergraduate programs are, three, in general, three-year programs except law and engineering. The master programs are one year long, except the same engineering and law. PhD programs are three years old. Long, sorry. Uh, just to have an idea about the specialization that you may apply for, uh, most of the specializations are in Romania. But because we are a multi ethnic, multicultural university, we also have 66 specializations in Hungarian, 15 in English, uh, one in French, and 10 in German. Because the university has three complete lines of study Romanian, Hungarian, and German following the ethnic structure of Transylvania. The same, the same uh, structure can be recognized also for the master programs. Of course, the number of visualization is a little bit different. For those of you who are interested in applying for an English program at the bachelor level, uh, we displayed on the screen some of our specialization, which are offering courses in English, complete programs in English. So mathematics, computer science, physics, chemistry, chemical engineering, and so on. I have to underline the fact that the university offers specialization in almost all the fields, with a few exceptions, medical studies, which are not part of our uh, study offer, technical studies like architecture, for instance, uh, agriculture studies, music, or arts. Those are not part of our study offer. All the rest of the field are including into our specialization. Uh, almost the same programs are offers for the, for the master level. Uh, the numbers are not so important, but you have to know that we have approximately 39 specialization in English. This number is growing every year because the university is trying to add new and new programs in English just to open new perspectives for the international students. As you can see, mathematics, computer science, physics, basically the same field of phyolo uh, philology, law, international relations and European studies, political sciences, management, accounting, business, different type of businesses, administrative sciences, political sciences are part of our master programs in English. For those of you who 
would like to study to a different specialization, for instance, bachelor in psychology or history in for the bachelor level or um, some programs in um, environmental sciences or physical education in sports or theology, uh, you have the possibility to follow the Romanian language preparatory year, which is a one-year program. First semester, it's general language. The second semester, 14 weeks, uh, it's more focused on your future career. You will have 25 hours of Romanian language per week, every day, approximately five hours. Uh, you will start as a A1 level student in Romanian language, and at the end of the year, uh, you're supposed to reach the B2 level, enough for you to be able to enroll and study in one of the university's programs uh, which are taught in Romanian. If you don't have one year, but you still like to learn a little bit of Romanian before you are coming to Cluj, you have the possibility to enroll in our Romanian language uh, summer program, which is a three-week uh, three program with different courses, uh, approximately 60 hours of Romanian language in total. Uh, both programs are tuition fee programs. Uh, the Transylvania International Summer Courses of Romanian Language is had every year in July. At the end of the presentation, I will uh, share with you my screen and show you our web page when you can find more information about each of these uh, steps of the presentation. Once you become our student, uh, a world of possibilities open for you because the university is very dynamic regarding the international cooperation. We have more than 2,000 agreements with universities worldwide. Those universities are under different programs. Erasmus Plus program is probably the most well-known within Europe, at least. CIPUS program and MACOVES programs are similar with the Erasmus Plus, but they are covering just the part of the Central and Eastern European countries. There are also the Fulbright program, DAD scholarship programs, inter-university agreements. They are all giving you the possibility uh, to have to spend one semester or one academic year abroad, which may be an enriching experience from the point of view, uh, academic and cultural and maybe personal, why not? One of the advantages in coming and study at the university, except the tuition fees, uh, which are, um, let's say, uh, at the lowest level in Europe, uh, is the accommodation on, camp on campus accommodation. The university has a very large and uh, up-to-date uh, on-campus dorm with different uh, facilities for internet access, reading room, car parking, laundries, fitness room. Um, prices may depend on the condition. The, the lowest one is approximately 40 euro per month. Uh, the accommodation in campus may be five students in a room, three students in a room, or two students per room. And of course, the price is depending on the number of students to whom you are sharing the room. Canteens and cafeterias, this is a plus, also a plus for the university and for the student because the food is subsidized by the university for the student, meaning that uh, you'll have a menu starting with four euros or five euros for lunch. Uh, the location of the canteen and the cafeterias are quite um, uh, reachable. In general, they are closed or they are within a faculty uh, building. So you just go downstairs or to the ground floor in order to, to reach the canteens and the cafeterias. They are open every day uh, from uh, Monday morning uh, till Sunday uh, at noon. Okay, admission for international students. Uh, it's quite easy as long as you read the information and uh, you are preparing the, docu the documentation as it requested by the 
procedure of the university. It will be an online application. Basically, you will have to open an account and upload into your account the necessary documents. On the screen, you have the some of the documents that you have to upload. Uh, of course, each of the documents has to be translated uh, and certified by certain authorities. Uh, the passport must have a certain validity. The medical insurance certificate should be issued no longer than two months ago. Language certificate, if necessary, and a processing fee of 50 euros. For this academic year, we have some eligibility criteria. Uh, just to help you a little bit, uh, we um, posted on the admission platform an eligibility trial, let's say. You may uh, see if you are eligible for the university. There are certain questions that you have to answer and the platform will let you know if you may apply or not for a certain program. Some of them are the high school or the baccalaureate grade, uh, the bachelor grade, of course, final grade, language certificate and studies related to your future career. Uh, our university, I would have, uh, like to mention from the beginning, is not able to offer scholarships for international students. If you are um, looking for a scholarship, the Minister of Education, the Romanian Minister of Education throughout the uh, Minister of External Affairs, it's offering some scholarships for international students. Information about those scholarships can be found out on the Romanian Embassy website. For this year, application is now open and it will be open until middle of August. Tuition fee varies. Uh, each field of study has a different dispersion and has a different fee. If your visa is rejected, you may have the possibility to request the reimbursement of the tuition fee. Uh, also for the students, the university is offering um, a wide variety of support offices. We have the libraries, each faculty has its own library. We have the student organizations and maybe uh, Daciana will be able to tell you more about those uh, student association and the way they are supporting the students, their um, career, their academic and their cultural life. At the university, we have approximately 20 foreign cultural centers like Japanese, Korean, Italian, Spanish, Brazilian, and uh, others. We have two botanical gardens, several museums, and a sport uh, park facilities with a swimming pool complex. The students will also have the possibility to enjoy uh, the events organized by the two theaters and opera house in the city, Romanian and Hungarian. We also have uh, cinema, uh, cinema halls, uh, uh, they are organizing trips, the students and the university or uh, the different travel agencies that are organizing trips. We have the festivals, we have the sport competitions. So basically, uh, you, there is something to do every weekend or at least uh, uh, two or three uh, times a month. Okay, and I would like to sh share a little bit my web page uh, if I still have time. This is the web page of the Center for International Cooperation, as is marked in this presentation. So this is the website, the one with the with the red up uh, to the presentation. Uh, on the left side, you can see that we have admission international students. The second one, they are candidates from other countries. And at this point, I would like to try to share my screen. Uh, just to be a little bit on the live side, it would be easier. Thank you. Okay, so we have the admission of international students. I hope you can see my screen. We have candidates from other countries. And from here, there are different options. Bachelor studies, master degrees, preparatory year of Romanian language. So basically, different level of studies. Th then we have Romanian government scholarships, which I told you before, offered by the Romanian Minister of Education throughout the Romanian embassy in different countries. And we have practical information on campus accommodation, you, have, you can find there everything you need about the accommodation. We have a freshman guide. 
uh, detailing the life in the university after your admission and steps to follow after receiving the acceptance letter. The letter of acceptance is a document, the official document of acceptance at the university. If you are accessing, for instance, bachelor studies, uh, a new page will open and you will have the possibility to choose among English or French, uh, depending on your language. Once I'm getting here, you will see that there are different information. Registration calendar, you have to tick on the plus and you'll see the registration and so on for each eligibility criteria, timeline, documents required for the application, important documents. Basically here, you have the bachelor program specialization offered by the university, the accepted language certificates and eligibility criteria. Uh, if you are reading the documents, you'll see for each of them, admission process, it's a, uh, it's a document detailing everything you will have to do in order to get admitted at the university. Of course, for any questions, for information, for details that cannot be found on the internet, we are here for you to support uh, your admission and, of course, um, everything concerning the university, every single detail concerning the university. If you have questions at the end of the presentation, I will be happy to, to answer to them. Thank you so much, Carmen, for all the information. And I think we can now leave the floor to Delia. Uh, Delia, if you'd like, you can share your screen. And of course, to all our participants who joined us from the get-go, or if you just joined us now, uh, please feel free to type all your questions into the Q&A box, be it about the programs, be, be it about the student life, and we'll be glad to take them after the presentation. Thank you so much. Thank you, Hello, everyone. You can just share screen with your brief presentation. So, uh, um, as I said before, my name is Delia and I am an associate professor in Education Sciences at the Catholic University of Study. And I would just like to tell you a few words about uh, the relation that uh, the teachers and students have in our university and also to point out some of the opportunities that uh, the students have and I think it's really important for you to know. So um, I will start first with the fact that uh, we recognize the students as uh, strategic and equal partners in all these areas of the activity and the uh, um, academic interest and that they are members of our um, academic community. And what you have here, let me just try to make it a bit more visible. Uh, from the student status, you have some principles governing student activities, some general principles just for you to get an idea. But then I will also move to how specific activities can be um, seen in these principles. So, first, you have the principle of, uh, of non discrimination, whereby students are treated equally by the university, regardless of their age, ethnicity, gender, social origin, religion, political, religious, sexual, or other types of orientation. The second principle is the right to free assistance and additional services in state funded education in terms of counseling and information provided to students by teacher staff, outside class, seminar, or laboratory hours, career guidance, counseling, psychological counseling, that I will discuss today. Also, later, access to the relevant literature and scientific publication, access to information, and to the personal academic records of the students. The third principle, um, equally important, is the principle of participatory um, decision making, whereby decisions within the university are taken with the participation of student representatives. And just to give you an example, you have the right to have a minimum representation of 25% in the university senate. And in the faculty council of the students. We have also the principle of freedom of expression, whereby students have the right to spread their academic opinions freely within the university. And the last one that I would like to highlight is the principle of transparency and open access to information, whereby students have the right to free and unrestricted access to information related to their own educational path and, and the academic community to which they belong. 
Uh, here I will also highlight some opportunities that I think uh, will be relevant for you to know also that we have the mass course of our university and everything will be there. And the first elements that you have here on the list are the internship programs because regardless of the program that you are going to study, internship is compulsory, both for both you and on the level. We consider that to be very important in order for students to be able to be better connected to the work environment and to be better prepared when they graduate. So uh, we do have this uh, opportunity internships are highly encouraged. Internships can also be done within the university, in the international office at the image department or so on, and also through the Erasmus Plus program um, that Carmen mentioned before or other types of program. Another important element from my point of view is the fact that um, besides um, apart from the curriculum that you choose for your specialization, you also have elective courses, so you do have freedom to navigate and to choose the courses that are of more interest to you within the domain that you chose, and also this opportunity of choosing faculty courses, which are extra. So they are not compulsory in order for you to graduate, but we highly encourage to take these types of courses as well, such as foreign language centers, or courses in entrepreneurship, or others that might be of interest to you. And since I have mentioned this elective uh, faculty courses that must be submitted for the language, we also have the two language centers where um, you can take courses, take exams, and improve your language knowledge. Another aspect that is extremely valuable to us is the involvement of students in volunteering activities, which is also valuable later on when they are seeking employment. And it's an element that, for example, also contributes in the selection of when it students abroad in scholarship and also teamwork activities, which are um, highly appreciated and used during our course and seminars. Since I have mentioned students representation, we have here some of the students representatives such as actually the student representative of our faculty, but there is representation at also at lower level. We have the group representatives, the education representative, long study representative. So we do have a very strong representation from the students and also the student organizations such as the organization of the students of the Babish uh, University or the Society of US Plus students and uh, many others. Uh, another important aspect in our university is the well being of uh, both teachers and uh, students and for um, um, people working in our university, both physical and mental well being for the physical well being and kind of devotion the sports activities that we have. Uh, but I would also like to bring to your attention the student clinic and the psychiatric clinic, uh, which is actually um, um, the first type of like, the university clinic in our country, which uses um, innovative psychological um, strategies and also advanced technologies such as virtual reality and therapy and so on. Another um, aspect that I think is might be relevant for you are the online platforms that are available for students, such as the academic info platform. Since I have mentioned before the principle of transparency on this platform, you can access based on your account information related to your academic records and the e learning platform where you really have access to materials from the courses to quizzes and it's another form of getting in contact with your professors and to have access to courses and other materials. Um, since uh, Carmen also mentioned the fact that we are a research university as well, not just a teaching university, students do have access to relevant literature and scientific publications either in the libraries of our university and actually all materials that are used for the courses and that are necessary in order for you to pass the exams will be made available for you. And students are also encouraged to take part in this research activity in conferences where we have uh, on many occasions panels specifically attributed to students and also the possibility to publish in the academic journals of our university. And last but not least, also the student class where I encourage you to participate. We have here some examples, but there are many more clubs such as debate negotiations, theater, cinema, photography, business consultancy, tourism, volleyball, that's 
in the discussion stop here, and there is also a career guidance center in order to help students in more career so you can better what are the employment opportunities that they might have later on. And it's the last uh, aspect that I'd like to focus on is how can we students and um, what actually is the relation with them. There are also tutoring activities, so apart from meeting us at the courses and seminars, and each year in each specialization has a professor that is a tutor to support them and to offer them uh, information that they need apart from the administrative assistance that they receive from the secretariat in order to contact us. Um, each professor has the uh, weekly office hours, but we are also available on our institutional email address and generally professors. Um, I think it's a reach of all. I don't know if Mr. Kondachiana can confirm that, but this is how we perceive it. Another important element is related to the existence of course syllabi. The course syllabus, you can see more information related to the courses that interest you. I would use that, for example, even uh, to decide if you want to apply for a university because you have more details on what the course is about, apart from the title. And there you also have information related to the requirements when it comes to attendance, to deadlines, to the bibliography that you might need to consult in order to pass the course. So they are very important from my point of view in order for you to have a better understanding of the, the offer of courses. And another important element is the input of students is very important to us is the evaluation of teaching activity by students, which is done at the end of each semester. And it is anonymous, it helps us in order to and improve the quality of the courses that we will offer and to see if there are any aspects that might require um, further distance. And the activity and the relationship between professors and students that we saw here, we are also involved in your graduation process for BA. This is generally speaking, but you'll see that each faculty might have its specificities. There is a, a general evaluation of knowledge and also the defense of a graduation paper. As well for any studies where again we have a defense of a graduation paper. And the reason I've mentioned this aspect is that apart from PhD studies, uh, here you also have a thesis coordinator who will assist you in your know, research. At the end of your studies, you will receive a certificate of graduation and uh, a diploma. But we are not there yet. We still have the beautiful years to enjoy. And that will be all for my short presentation. Of course, if you have questions or if I can be of any assistance, it would be glad to to help you later on. Thank you for your question. Thank you so much, Delia, and of course, for all our participants, if you have any questions related to this part of the presentation, please feel free to type into the Q&A box. I see that we already have a few questions. But I was wondering whether uh, Mustafa and uh, Daciana would like to contribute with their own experience at BBU. Um, yes, sure. I have prepared a presentation as well. Uh, it's a very short one, so I'll keep it sweet and short. Um, I'll just share my screen and then Mustafa can go next, if that's all right. So um, here you have my presentation about student life at UBB from my perspective as a fourth year student. Um, just so you know, I am a Romanian student, so I will share my experience from a Romanian student's point of view. And then I guess Mustafa will share his experience as an international student. Um, so I think what is one of the most remarkable things about UBB is, is the number of students it has. Um, the last official numbers, I believe, were uh, 46,674 students. Um, and because it's such a big community and, and it's very diverse, um, the university becomes the meeting point for various cultures, uh, for various people from different countries uh, that bring together ideas and different perspectives on life. And I think that's a very enriching to the overall student experience that we have, knowing that you're part of such a big community that is very diverse and that uh, can help you broaden your perspectives every day. Uh, 
Then secondly, regarding the academic part of uh, the university, um, it has a very wide range of faculties and programs uh, for uh, all the diverse interests you may have, uh, whatever it's sciences, humanities, social sciences, uh, there's probably a program for everyone. And um, in my experience, most, uh, if not all the university professors are very qualified in the field they are teaching and they are usually very passionate about it. And my experience with our professors has been very enriching so far. Um, so when it comes to academics, I think it's a very good choice if you want to broaden your perspective and if you just want to grow uh, in what you study and research. Uh, going further, I have put down some ideas regarding the facilities for students, and I will start with the uh, academical part first. Um, like my uh, like my colleagues priorly mentioned, you will have access to research facilities through the libraries. You will have access to big databases uh, that you can use to uh, do your homework, to study for your exams, or just to do your research. Um, and of course, you will uh, get access to national and international conferences on different domains, on different topics uh, from all the faculties in the university. So you will get to enrich your academic profile through participating in such events. Going next, we have uh, some very useful uh, centers, starting with the Center for Career, Alumni, uh, and the relation with the business environment. Uh, here, uh, it's great when whenever you're not sure uh, regarding what your future career will look like, or um, if your CV is done well, you can get advice, you can get uh, uh, consultation when it comes to that. So they will help you a lot when it comes to your future career, to applying to your first, second, third job. Uh, you can get help and uh, you can get counseling services from this center. Uh, then we have the entity that organizes uh, today's event as well, the Center for International Cooperation that opens many doors to many uh, international mobilities. And what I wanted to mention here, you will see the logo on my presentation. Um, UBB is part of the uh, European Alliance of Universities of Utopia. Uh, there are 10 universities part of this alliance. And this is another opportunity for opening doors for your international mobilities and for getting to meet people from all over Europe and all over the world. Uh, we also have an office for students with disabilities, so we can provide more care um, and attention to their needs. Um, you can go there if you need such services or if you just want to volunteer and help others. Um, we have a lot of sportive activities you can get uh, engaged in. We have a lot of sports facilities around the campus. There is an entire campus dedicated to just sports. So you can swim, you can play basketball, football, whatever you're passionate about, you can do um, in that campus. Uh, then the general campus that has the dorms and the main cafeteria that is very vivid. Usually it's full of life. You will hear people um, playing the guitar, just people walking around. I think it's a very friendly campus and I, I really hope you're going to enjoy it. And then we have the part that has been mentioned before many times, uh, student organizations. And I believe that there are 29 official student organizations in UBB right now. Um, so they provide a broad range of projects, events, uh, conferences from students to students, um, or of course, many opportunities for you to have fun. They organize um, social events, they organize parties as well, they organize quizzes, everything you might need when you are done with learning, when you are tired of studying and you just want to unwind and get to know some people. Student organizations provide all of that, but they also provide the professional part. They provide uh, projects, materials, and trainers for whenever you want to develop uh, personally or professionally. So I've been a part of a student organization now for four years, and it's been a true enriching experience that definitely changed me a lot and made me the person that I am today. Uh, of course, uh, overall, um, the, the student life in UBB just provides many, many activities uh, with different topics, uh, whether they're fun parties or just social activities or uh, debate, conferences, you will have a very rich diversity to choose from. Um, and of course, uh, to the whole experience of a student in UBB, um, what contributes a lot is the city that the university is located in. Uh, Cluj-Napoca, which like 
um, the pr prior presentation said uh, it's very rich, uh, it's very vivid, it's made for young people. Uh, here is just a quick view on how uh, some events are enriching the, uh, the city. Here you have a film festival, you have Transylvania Open, which is a sports championship. Uh, then you have Techlovania for those who are passionate about innovation and about technology. Uh, you have TEDx talks, of course. Um, and then you have many music festivals during the summer. So after you're done with your exams, you can unwind and have some fun at the festivals that are taking place in the city. Um, this was my part. I really hope I managed to give you a glimpse of what it really means to be a student in this university. And if you have any further question, uh, questions, there's my email address. So you can contact me, but I'm waiting for your questions as well at the end of the um, presentation overall. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I think we can now leave the floor to Mustafa. Yes, now. Yes, we can see it properly. Thank you, Mustafa. Okay, I'm um, happy to see you again. Really, I'm really excited to share with you my experience and I would be delighted to answer your questions at the end of these presentations. So like for presenting my university, I don't want to repeat what my colleagues have already said. Uh, from the perspective, I've just, oh, I've just already seen at the uh, question part that somebody asked, why should I choose this university? This is the right question, I think, that you should ask it before like looking over anything. So why should I choose this university? Why I should choose this country and this city? So first of all, Babish Boy University, however, according to the rankings, is like the top university in Romania. Romania being a European country. So you have standardized, qualified educa education and your professors are highly qualified. They are in the field where you need the information. They are also uh, passionate about it. They are really helpful. Also, they are really humble. They're really, they are really happy to communicate and interact, interact with the students. And they don't make any difference between the local students and the international students. They are really uh, excited to meet up with international students. So briefly, what does it mean to be a, a Babish boy as student? Going like briefly through some points, starting from the environment. So is the study? So you find many uh, options for your uh, university, for your faculty. You can choose it, you can read. So I think it's really important when we want to choose uh, a specific a major, we need to read about it. So you have already the link where you can have access to the admission uh, procedure. You also need to read about your uh, uh, specialization and or also to communicate with the university. So you, you will receive your answer and your worries will be uh, uh, met, like, I mean, be answered. So the study and the life. So the life of students is a young uh, city, actually. You find many international students and people really helpful and supportive, and they are really excited to meet up with international students. For the university uh, staff, they are highly qualified. So you check your uh, specialization. You also can go through your professors, for, for your future professors, and you can check their CVs. So just make sure who will teach you and you, are, you will be uh, quite surprised that they are really qualified. For the language, being like a foreigner, foreigner speaker of English maybe or French or another language, you have the opportunity to practice other languages beside your native language. It's kind of multicultural city. Have You have already seen that students from all over the world, almost, they are studying there. 
you find also many students from France, from Germany. So why they didn't stay in, uh, or and also from the United States, from Canada, from other countries in Europe, why did they didn't stay in their countries and study there? Because it's almost the same. They have you have standardized education. You have uh, professional uh, professors to share with you their knowledge. So you have also many facilities, as they already mentioned, um, also for the life expenses and the work. The expenses you have, it's kind of uh, affordable uh, study. It's not expensive. The life is also like cheap. You have many options. And for work, you can work according to your free time and you find many opportunities that doesn't depend on any experience. And thank you for your attention. Thank you so much, uh, Mustafa, for your contribution. And of course, thank you all um, to all panelists on behalf of UBB for their um, information and for everything they've shared with the participants. So um, actually, I will start from uh, one of the last questions. Um, so uh, to, to stay with you, uh, Mustafa, one student asked, why specifically did you choose Romania? So did you already have this information at hand that you just shared when you made your, your choice? For me, actually, I had many options. I had some countries I don't want to mention at the moment. So they are like the stereotyping student that he's looking or she's looking for a specific country. So they actually related to their university will receive other options for work, well, to have also qualified study. So for me, Romania is part of the European Union. So wherever you go in European and a European to a European university, you get a qualified because they are doing standardization and qualification um, verification from time to time. So you have a European degree. So this is important. And the other important part is like it's not expensive so you have qualified education and at the same time it's really affordable not cheap to say because like affordable to everybody thank you so much uh, and to uh, move forward with the other questions um, a participant was asking, I, I mean, I've seen this question a couple of times, so perhaps we can get into how much the master programs uh, would be in terms of tuition. So uh, you just mentioned, Mustafa, for example, that it's relatively cheap compared to studying in other EU countries. I was wondering if Carmen or uh, Delia could provide some more insight into the actual cost um, for a master's uh, at BBU. I will try to answer the question. The, the tuition fee is different from one field to another. The minimum one is 2,200 euro per month, uh, per year, I'm sorry. So 220 euro per month. One academic year is considered a 10 month tuition fee program. Starting with 2,200 euros per year, and it goes up depending on the field of study, and in theater and film, it can be 7,000 euro per year. But in general, it's around 3,000 or 4,000 uh, euros per year for one academic year. Thank you so much. Um, and I do see some questions about the scholarships. And I know that some of the participants have joined us later. So perhaps we can get back to the uh, admission criteria for being elected and benefit from a scholarship as a uh, non-EU student? The university is not offering scholarships for non-EU students. The only scholarships offered by the university are for the Romanian and for the European student. Students that are coming, who are coming from other countries, non-European countries may apply for a scholarship throughout the Romanian embassy in their own country. Every year, the Romanian Ministry of Education is offering approximately 200 scholarships for the international students coming from non-EU countries. But one of the requests for that particular type of scholarship is to have learned Romanian before or 
to follow the Romanian preparatory year because the scholarships are offered only for the programs taught in Romanian. Thank you so much, Carmen. And to move forward with the remaining questions, of course, as a student studying abroad in a foreign country, uh, one may be concerned about um, integration. So uh, I'm seeing a question specifically from a student asking about uh, hijabi Muslim students. In your experience, both um, Mustafa and uh, um, Daciana, how many international students uh, would you say uh, fit the profile and how are they faring within UBB? Whichever of you wants to go may do so. Thank you so much. Okay, I can. So for me, the student life being like among international students and particularly in the Romanian culture, people are really happy to re receive you with your own culture. So they can if they never judge you for anything, they are really excited to know about you, about your culture, about your language and etc. So they are in the in the world some stereotyping things, but people usually will uh, if they will never judge you for anything because it's all, almost a multicultural city and the U U uh, BB University is a very multicultural university and you find an uh, an amazing experience. Thank you so much. Um, so I do see some questions about uh, the master's programs list. So perhaps, Carmen, we can um, repeat some of the programs that you offer, um, just so uh, our participants have an idea of the overall um, disciplinary areas. Okay, I will share each year the programs offered for the international students are different. I will share my screen again. And I will show you on the internet which are the programs offered at the master level for the international students coming from non-EU countries this academic year. Thank you so much, Carmen. Yes, so you have the list on the internet and you also have the tuition fees on the slide. So we have mathematics and computer science with different programs. Basically, this is the faculty, the field, and those are the names of the master programs, the language of instruction and the tuition fees. So we have programs in mathematics, physics. I will go slow just to... Um, allow them to see the names of the programs, chemical and chemical engineering, where we have only one master program in English. The rest of the programs are in Romanian. The price is the same for the international students. We also have environmental sciences, the programs in English and in Romania, the price is the same. We have a program in law and international and comparative business law. They must keep in mind the fact that the law system in Romania is the German one, the, the Canadian one, so not the Anglophone, but the Francophone law system, which is different from other countries. Letters, we have different specializations. Basically, at the College of Letters, there is no... Um, one language of instruction. All the programs are in different languages. Even the British and Irish studies are in different languages because you have a major and a minor. History and philosophy, we have programs in Romanian and in English. Economics and business administration. Faculty of European studies in French, English and Romanian. Uh, depending on the language that the student prefers, faculty of business, business administration in hospitality and tourism, English and Romanian programs with different fees, political and administrative sciences, we have administrative sciences, political sciences, communication sciences, but they are all in English and in German. Um, 
I don't know why it's not working. Social work, the programs are in Romanian, and we have a program that is Romanian and English. Unfortunately, the faculty doesn't have a complete line of study. We have a, a different city, Reshita, where we have a campus for engineering. They have a program in English and two programs in Romanian. We also have an offer from the Faculty of Orthodox Theology, uh, the National Religion of Romania, which is in Romania. So those are the programs offered for this academic year for the students coming from non-EU countries. Thank you so much. Uh, I do see um, many questions about uh, what is required to apply or how can students from African countries apply. And to uh, these participants, uh, I want to, to mention that, of course, uh, whether you joined us from the get-go for this event or if you connected later, you will get uh, an email with the recording of the event. And of course, uh, all the information on how to apply and how to get in touch with UBB and to get your application process going. So fear not, you will have all the information at hand. Just make sure to keep an eye out on your email inbox. Um, and I do see one question for Mustafa in the chat. Um, specifically, uh, there's a student who's interested in the master's in environmental science and engineering. And since you are a current student, uh, they're asking if they can have your contacts or email to consult with you on how it is to study um, this program. Is that a yes, Mustafa? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, it was my question. I was actually writing an answer there. So beside that link we had like sent to them for the um, admission, they also can check the their own faculty website where they find all the information. So I think the important point for them is just to read, to read the instructions, to follow them because um, also, the, the university uh, secretary and the international uh, office will help them step by step. Also, I think there is also another uh, platform for body systems so where they can communicate with uh, fellow students and they will uh, give them the answers for all their inquiries. Thank you so much. And just as a side note, as I don't believe uh, we've mentioned this during the events, but can any of the uh, presented programs be taken online? And this would go to Carmen. Thank you. No, all the courses are on site. Uh, the education system in Romania uh, doesn't recognize the online courses. So all the courses will be traditional teaching on site at the university. Thank you. And while I'm seeing a lot of questions, um, specifically about uh, each person's, uh, you know, um, doubts about the admission criteria, I just wanted to ask Carmen if you could give us um, some more information on when the next intake uh, will occur. I know uh, the current one is open and correct me if I'm mistaken. Yes, the current one is take, it's open until the middle of August. The next one will open next year in April. So you have plenty of time for whoever uh, of you who are still connected. If you wish to apply to UBB, uh, you have plenty of time to uh, get all the information uh, about the application process. Uh, and of course, uh, get in touch with the enrolled students, Carmen kindly shared a, a link for you to get in touch with uh, currently enrolled students and get firsthand information about the student life. Um, so unfortunately, the time for our Q&A session has come to an end, but as I did mention, uh, you will receive the recording of this event. So if you missed any uh, important information on the admission criteria about the um, academic offer at a bachelor, master's, or PhD level, uh, you will get your, uh, your hands on all of this soon. And uh, you will have uh, all the information to get in touch with UBB and get your application process going. So once again, thank you all so much for joining this event. We hope it uh, gave you a glimpse into what your life at UBB uh, can be like and then all the opportunities that await you not only in Romania, but also within the uh, EU. 
Thank you uh, to all the panelists on behalf of UBB today. So Carmen, Delia, Daciana, and Mustafa for your presence, for your time, and for taking the time, of course, to answer all the questions. Um, I'm, I'm glad to have been able to moderate this event. Uh, and of course, uh, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing you all again, hopefully for the next event in partnership with U UBB. Thank you all so much. Until the next time, stay safe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you too.